Welcome to this video. This video is a continuation of the former video, Platinum and Iridium. In several black matte sites in the Younger Dryas boundary, high concentrations of platinum and iridium were found. For me, JM, the presence of platinum and iridium most probably is an indication that the haplogroup are produced, also, advanced products and metals, like platinum iridium alloy, or used ores with platinum and iridium in their blast furnaces. Platinum iridium. Alloy is a readily worked alloy, platinum iridium is much harder, stiffer, and more resistant to chemicals than pure platinum, which is relatively soft. Alloys are ductile, malleable, and versatile and today are often found also in medical products like cardiac rhythm management devices, catheters and stents. Is also very resistant to high-temperature electric sparks and is widely used for electrical contacts and sparking points, and is also used in mechanical and electrochemical devices. Waste or slag. Slag often contains glass-like materials. Slag contains high percentages of metals coming from the ores used but that are too tied to non-desired materials and therefore end up in the waste or slag. Charcoal is used or necessary in blast furnaces that produce metals, alloys, ceramics, glass etc. and waste or slag. So this already makes up for most if not all of the elements found in the black mats, and this in the detected concentrations or percentages. Deforestation, rising CO2 and younger dry is warming. Further the deforestation for the high-demanding blast furnaces injected CO2 in the lower atmosphere which causes warming. Please see extreme warming since 12,800 BP represented by the red line with number 3 starting at the green arrow up. Not from meteorite. Now just some arguments that the black mats have nothing to do with a meteorite impact nor with burning of forests or of vegetation. Meteorites contain too low percentages of certain metals to make up for the percentages of certain metals found in the black mats. Further no meteorite fractions were found in the sites claimed to have suffered impacts of meteorites. Several of the supposedly impacted sites show evidence that they had no forest or no significant organic material before the formation of the black mat or before the supposed meteorite impact, green arrow up. A burning forest or vegetation does not produce charcoal or soot but simple ashes and that is not what the black mats contain and are formed from. As said before, the black mat and the fossils are not mixed, so they are not from the same moment in time, which should be the case if a meteorite should have put everything on fire. Further long before 12,800 BP, the green arrow up, in the case of Lamel Magdalenians, visited the place regularly and left tools. The Magdalenians are kind of the European counterparts of Clovis people and I hypothesize they looked up the place for similar reasons as the haplogroup R would do after they managed to overturn these Magdalenians or rather their descendants. The site presents material in bulk, a special kind of sand, sought for and used in several industrial processes like the production of metals, alloys, ceramics, glass, artificial diamonds and magnets in blast furnaces or involving blast furnaces. Extinction had nothing to do with the black mats. In other words nothing got extinct by what formed the black mats that are found on top of, the layers that contain the evidence of extinctions, like fossils and tools of extinct humans and fossils of extinct animals. Sometimes there are separating layers in between, and sometimes there are multiple black mats on top of each other which is kind of an additional proof the black mat was not from a meteor or a meteor rain. Whatever caused extinctions was clearly before the formation of the black mats. For consensus the black mats are formed by a meteorite impact, green arrow pointing up, and consequent burning of organic material. Charcoal found in the black mats is not simply a matter of burning organic material or a wildfire or a forest burning down. The production of charcoal is a rather controlled process, not a spontaneous burning process. Further the by consensus claimed organic material should have been present locally in sufficient amounts, this since a meteorite impact does not go out to gather organic material from more distant places in order to burn it to charcoal etc. First of all there is evidence, in certain recognized and important YDB sites, also inside the Younger Dryas boundary, that clearly present clear black mats, but that did not present forest or sufficient organic material before the formation of the black mat, Lamel, Belgium is one of several such sites. End observation. This video is about the hypotheses of the author, J.M., and not about present-time climate change. Further I am convinced that all initiatives of and info provided by the UN regarding climate are very useful and necessary. To learn about present-time climate change please consult. What is climate change? United Nations. Thank you for watching. Bye.